Hello everyone, welcome to Life Love and the Pursuit of Real Estate. My name is Michael Biviano. I want to talk about the banks just for a couple of minutes and especially for those of you that are in real estate selling day to day, you need to know the stuff I'm about to tell you. First and foremost is that there's been about a 10 plus percentage shift in the last three months with people going to second and third tier lenders. That means that they're moving away from the top four or top five banks. Why do I think that is? I think it is for a couple of reasons. First of all, that the second and third tier lenders aren't as strict on their criteria for borrowing. Second is that the LVRs are a bit higher. And third is there's easier access to the people that make the decisions. So those three things are very, very solid factors. And the public, I think, have done it and moved that way without even knowing why they're doing it in a lot of cases from the people that I know that are doing it right now. So if you're in real estate, it's advisable for you to have a look and see what rates the second tier and third tier lenders are offering compared to the top four or five. It's also interesting for you to check the LVRs, what the general LVRs are. And the banks are now categorizing suburbs, category one, two, three, and four. So you need to find out what category your suburb that you're selling in is in and that will basically give you the policy around the bank's lending procedure. So how do you find that out? I don't think it's on their websites, but you do need to get in touch with some of your local bankers, whether it be NAB, Westpac, Suncorp, Metway, all those ones, or Bank of Queensland, or Bank West, and find out from the people in the branch what they're actually doing and what their lending criteria is right now. And then you can advise people where they can go to get a quicker and a better home loan. And you don't give any financial advice, but you can guide them in relation to how they can get some finance because that world of finance is still extremely foreign, especially to first and second home buyers. I hope that helps. Good luck. Happy selling. Stay great.